Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. Today we're gonna take a look at this guy. This is the SR3M. So what is the SR3M? Well, in the 1980s, end of 1980s, 1989 I believe, some design bro took the essentially the ASVAL and were like, what if we make this more compact, take off the suppressor, to help make it more contact, because, uh, let's see, uh, if we can go find an AS Val, probably should have done that beforehand, uh, is it under assault rifles? Shh, I'm not spotting it right now, uh, ah, AS Val, we spawn it, as you can see, Integrated suppressor adds quite a distance, uh, quite a length. So the Russians were like, okay, we'll make an AS valve, no suppressor, make it more compact for a special of, uh, forces use, still using the same uh, 9 by something ammo, 9 by 39? Yeah, 9 by 39 subsonic cartridge. It's uh, not uh, suppressed, of course. And uh, they, they made some uh, changes to uh, the system some changes to the safety added a folding foregrip as you can see you can fold it in it has a simple u-notch sight flash hider folding stock and uh, yeah the russians they uh, developed the sr3 and uh, they put it in production in 1995 i think to la limited production there isn't a huge amount of them i believe the special forces used them it uh, can take the same uh, magazines as the AS Val, I believe. Same ammo. Let's double check the magazine statement. Yeah, it can take uh, the same magazine. It's really just an AS Val, but not suppressed. But there is a difference in the safety. So uh, here you're in semi, but to put to full auto, or semi, well, we'll see soon, I forget. You have a little switch uh, near your trigger, as you can see. Boop. Now it's in either semi or full auto. So basically, the AK style just switches between safe and fire. And just like an AK, can't move all the way back when it's on safe. And then, when it's on fire, you can move all the way back. And ta-da. And now I think we're in full auto, probably? Yeah. No bolt hole open. It's just... An AS file without, oops, if I have an uh, extra magazine, without a suppressor. To make it both more compact and cheaper. But they do have some, or Anton has some accessories for us. Of course, we have a side mounted red dot. Classic. Come on. There we go. Red dots, of course, is nice. And, oops, you can get a suppressor for this thing, of course, <laughs> it's kind of, if you add a suppressor to this thing, you kind of uh, ruin the point of it in the first place. I mean, let's compare this to the AS file. This thing is a bit longer. Now you suddenly have an AS file, but worse. But hey, you have the option. So uh, if you want to be all uh, tactical, reach into the buildings. Okay, we can't vault here. I uh, think there's a door. Yes. All silent with your lovely little SR3. Now uh, we should be able to open it, I think. No? Yes. All tactical. Yeah, you can uh, run around with your uh, AS valve, basically. So it's a bit of a weird gun, if you ask me. Like, I understand why they did it. They wanted something that could use the same magazine, same ammo. Was basically the same, but... Uh, cheaper. So if you didn't need the suppressed capabilities, 
this one is a lot handier than uh, AS Val or uh, VSS Ventures. They're both basically the same. I, I still don't really understand it. And I'm here in this scene. There, there isn't any targets at the moment, I think. Is that a target? There isn't much in ter no. There isn't much in terms of targets here at the moment. It's just a breaching test scene. But I figured, uh, why not uh, take a look here? This plywood looks like plywood. Anyways, this has been a quick video. On the SR3. Come on. Yes. I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And uh, let's get outside. There we go. Where it's a bit brighter. So, I do hope you all enjoyed this quick video on the SR3. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!